Now, here's meteorologist Pete Nanjoni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Well, it is warming up quickly out there. Many spots already in the mid to upper 80s. Humidity continues to drop, so a bit more comfortable than what we had yesterday. In fact, here is that inland humidity forecast. This includes Providence, Smithfield, Attleboro, out into northern Bristol County, Massachusetts. Right now we're at around 63, just a little sticky. We drop it down to around 59 for a dew point this afternoon. Tomorrow, some uh, slight effects of humidity, really not too bad. At the coast, it's a little higher right now, mid 60s. We'll call that muggy. We drop it a few degrees into the afternoon, so a little more comfortable than on Saturday. Muggy, but certainly not oppressive and nowhere close to the dew points in the 70s that we had yesterday. All right, the breezes are getting going in Providence. 85, your temperature, Gloucester at 79. Westerly, 80, New Bedford at 85 degrees. Similar to yesterday, we have a decent wind going, and given how hot it is, the wind may actually take a bite out of the heat today. Not necessarily a bad thing in westerly temperatures, 80 degrees. We're starting to see a little turn out of the southwest. That's a borderline sea breeze direction for us, so that's why the coast may be a smidge cooler than inland spots, but not a huge difference anticipated into the afternoon. No uh, major threat showing up on the Eyewitness News Threat Tracker. We keep you in the green category, and that's because a very quiet satellite picture showing up. The front from yesterday continues to push away behind it. A lot of sunshine. The next weather maker, we'll call it, is diving in from the north, and that could give us a shower or two tomorrow. But let's break down that shower threat. I'm still thinking most of tomorrow is completely rain free. I'm actually fast forwarding into tomorrow afternoon. Anywhere after 5 p.m., which is where I'm stopping this right now, a shower or a sprinkle is possible, even a thunderstorm. And that threat continues through the evening hours. This is around 8 o'clock. Now, if you're, for instance, heading to water fire tomorrow evening, even if the shower does pan out, it will likely last only 10, maybe 20 minutes. So there's no need to cancel plans, but definitely check back with us tonight and again tomorrow morning for the update in regards to Saturday evening. For this afternoon, temperatures close to 90 inland, around 90 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. A little cooler at the coast, but not much. 85 here around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and temperatures staying in the low to mid 80s from the middle to the later part of the afternoon. Seven day future cast showing the warm weather on the way tomorrow. Again, that uh, slight chance of a shower arrives after around 5 p.m. tomorrow. I do want to point out that once the sun goes down tonight, you will have a pretty nice view of the blue moon. Sunrise or I should say sunset moonrise right around the same time that works out well as do the clear skies. Remember the blue moon does not occur that often. It's when you get a full moon two times in one month, so you can enjoy that view tonight. Tomorrow or Sunday, I should say a high temperature of 87. It will be less humid on Sunday, so pretty comfortable in the afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds and then Monday a high of 89 as humidity increases once again. So it's a pattern where we kind of try to shove out the humidity. It doesn't completely leave us, but it's not terrible either. But on Monday, it does make another run at us. And then Tuesday, chance of some showers and storms, highs in the upper 80s. Wednesday and Thursday, a little cooler with low to mid 80s and a chance of some showers and storms on Thursday. Don't forget, you can take the forecast with you. You can download the Pinpoint Weather app. You can find that at WPRI.com. That would be a great app to take with you on your phone, especially if you're out there tomorrow evening and you're tracking those potential showers and maybe a few thunderstorms, but all in all, a mostly dry weekend. All right, thanks, Pete. And now a